What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at iOS 8 Beta 4. So yes, Apple just released iOS 8 Beta 4, so here it is, I'm running it right now on my iPhone 5S. I'll go here, Settings, General, About, and as you can see there, we have a new build number for version 8.0, and also if I go to Software Update, you can see it says, my software is up to date. So this is actually the most updated, like enhanced, and most feature enhanced update to iOS 8 yet. There's a lot of new stuff on um, this update that I haven't fully got into yet, but there's a lot of great things as you can see first right off the bat. Um, there's a brand new home screen layout, which I'm always a big fan of when Apple likes to change up their home screen, and it features the iBooks and Health app. Um, and one thing you'll be happy to know is Apple finally ditched that Bug Reporter app, and it's no longer a notification center either. Thank God, I absolutely hated that thing. Um, but instead introduced a new app called Tips, and I was actually just talking about it on Twitter. Um, this is going to be a great application for people that want to learn how to use their iPhone further than just simply making phone calls and text messages. If you're a basic uh, iPhone user, kind of like my parents are, they don't really um, use the iPhones to their full potential. So it's actually a really cool app. Basically, it tells you some uh, some tips, basically, on how to use iOS um, and some of the best ways to use it um, and how you can just make the most of it. You know, you can say, hey, Siri, or something when it's plugged in to activate Siri um, to make a request. Or you can quickly respond to notification by dropping down notification center when you get a notification, um, stuff like that. So it'll tell you all about it. It's actually really cool. It's a very good idea for Apple. If you guys remember months ago, um, we had rumor and heard that Tips was actually going to be an app that was brought to iOS 8. Um, and we actually never got it from the WWDC introduction or with Beta 1 or Beta 2 or Beta 3. Um, and Tips, this version of Tips was actually what I, I had no idea that's what it was going to be. I thought it was going to be something like Reminders, if you guys remember. My predictions were completely off, so I apologize. Um, but still, I think it's a really cool thing. Um, also, they updated Control Center, and as you can see, it's got a kind of new design. It's even more flat than iOS 7. So if you didn't think iOS 7 was flat enough, ladies and gentlemen, here's iOS. 8. <laughs> but basically, um, it's just very, very flat. And as I turn on toggles here, so let's say, for example, do not disturb, they go completely white. Um, and if I turn them off, they go dark. Um, there's no more like heavy borders. They're kind of faded away. You know, you don't really see them. They're not as sharp. Um, it's got a um, glossier effect, and not glossier, a much more blurred, glazed effect, I should say, in iOS 7. Um, or other versions, previous versions of iOS 8 beta, um, it's a lot more glossy, I should say. This is like a glaze type, but it's not bad. I kind of like it. Very different from what from what we've seen. This kind of came out of nowhere, but it's interesting to see that Apple is tweaking it up. So I had to open up Safari and go on iDownloadBlog.com to actually figure out all of the new features in beta 4. I cannot cover them entirely in this video. It's almost like going over an entire new OS. That's seriously how many new tweaks there are. Um, there's some Bluetooth tweaks, there's phone tweaks, there's mail tweaks, pretty much tweaks in almost everything. So if you want to go check it out, you can go download it. Um, the way you're going to have to do it though is you're going to have to do it through UDIDRegistrations.com. Right now you can register your iDevice, your iPhone, your iPad, or iPod touch um, that is capable of running iOS 8. I'll leave uh, information in the description to figure out if your device is capable. Uh, just click the link in the description for five bucks. You can get your device registered and you could get iOS 8 before everyone else. And so far from what I've seen, this is a pretty stable release of iOS 8. Uh, the previous versions have not been stable at all. Um, I've had some bad experiences to be honest with you, um, which is disappointing because iOS 8 wasn't that big of an upgrade from iOS 7. I've talked about this in previous videos, um, but this is the most stable one I've seen so far. So I recommend it um, to quite a few more users than I would previous betas. So uh, just go click the link in the description. I've done videos with UDID registrations before. They're a great service. Um, they'll have you up and running in no time. Uh, definitely check them out. Get your device registered. Get it going and start running iOS 8. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'll also leave all information about that and uh, download links and everything else you need. Just remember, in order to download iOS 8, you're going to need to register your UDID first. I'll be happy to provide links, but you need that UDID registered with UDIDregistrations.com. Otherwise, you're going nowhere, bud. So get that done. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. Guys, I have a really cool video coming up. Stay tuned, and I will see you later.